It's me. I'm not dead. So, uh, let me come clean. I just, I obviously, if you keep up on my channel, I have not uploaded for two weeks. I had two videos, like, they are halfway edited and halfway filmed, but I ended up hating them, so I'm not gonna post them. I'm sorry. Um, I've found recently that I've been very critical of myself and my content, so I'm trying to work on that. So sorry for the unannounced little two-week hiatus, but I hope this video makes up for it. And I would just like to say thank you so much for 300 subscribers. I never thought my channel would get this far, even though 300 doesn't really seem that big, I guess, in YouTube terms, but it means the world to me. Like, I never thought I would get this many. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really hope you continue to enjoy my content. So, for today's video, on my Instagram, I had a little question thing uh, for people to ask me truth or dare questions to be included in this video. So, I got like 50 responses, but I narrowed it down to like 24 base questions, I think, and I have them all in this mug, and I'm gonna pick them <laughs> and do the truths or the dares. Okay, so, number one. You stay there. Okay. This is from Tiny Bunny J on Instagram. What has been the most difficult makeup look you've done? Oh, geez. Like, I've never done anything super difficult, but I find working with the face paint that I have is just really annoying because it's crappy face paint. So probably this look that I deleted from my Instagram because I didn't like it that much, or this look that I've never posted on Instagram, or this look that I've never posted on Instagram. There's a lot that I actually have done but never posted that I found pretty difficult just because I hate the face paint that I have. Okay, number two. From Perusini. If you could pick one eyeshadow palette to wear forever, what would it be? Oh boy! This really terrible, very cheap, $12 Amazon palette that I don't even think they sell anymore. I've had this for like two years. I love this palette so much. I am very sad because I'm about to run out of the black in this palette and it's like the best black eyeshadow I've ever used. If this was still being sold, it's beauty glazed eyeshadow palette, I would recommend it. I love this palette so much and it has like every color in it. Like, ah, I love it. Okay, next question. Do a Cruella inspired look in 40 seconds. Okay, so I'm not gonna do that right now because I have a full face of makeup on, but future Emily is here doing that now. Okay, so I really wanna do something inspired by this, but it has to be done in 40 seconds. Thank you so much for giving me a 40 second time limit so I can't do anything well. That's probably what you're trying to do though. You're trying to mess me up. So, okay, 40 seconds starting now. Um, oh. Okay, this is going great. So we're gonna blend that out. Okay. Cause she has that thing there, uh, and it says, um, future, um, okay. And, um, she has her, uh, red, red lipstick there, puck. Oh, great. <laughs> um, and, and we'll just add, uh, there's a bit of white there um, somewhere. T time's up. Do you like it? Has this made you happy? Hope this helped. Uh, question. Okay, come on. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Vampire Misfit says, have you ever stolen makeup? My family watches this channel, so for legal reasons, no, I haven't. 
Next question. Tiny Bunny J asks, what made you get into makeup? I love this question. I honestly first got into doing my makeup as a coping mechanism. Uh, I struggle with a lot of anxiety and doing things like art. I've always been very artistic. So I I just saw people on like Instagram doing really cool makeup looks. I'm like, oh, I want to be like that. I, I want to do that kind of thing, you know? Um, and so I started to get into it. I was terrible at first. Like I was really bad. <laughs> um, but God, it's probably been like three years since I started doing my makeup. And uh, I've, I've just grown to love it. I, whenever I'm really, really anxious, really having a bad day, I do a crazy cool makeup look and it usually cheers me up. It makes me feel better. So yeah. Naitori43, where do you get your inspiration from? That's a good question. <laughs> Pinterest. Uh, I hate to admit it, but Pinterest is a major inspiration for my outfits, for my makeup, for a lot of stuff like that. But also, um, avoid everyone on Instagram. I love their style. Their makeup is amazing. Next question. Pirusini, dare, use a makeup product you hate. So I included this. I'm not gonna do this today, but I'm actually going to make a full length video of me using all makeup products that I hate for a tutorial. So if you're interested in seeing that, subscribe and I will post that at some point. <laughs> Sweet underscore cherry underscore pie underscore x3 asks, would you ever do a male makeup look like turning into a dude transformation? Yes. Yes, I have been putting it off, but I really want to do like a drag transformation, like a gothic kind of drag obviously because I feel like that would fit my style better I will do that I will make a full-length video on that as well at some point hold me to that promise like remind me if I forget because I really want to do that <laughs> have you ever had a bad eyeliner phase yes my friend Bray ate <laughs> My friend Bray, BrayH413 on Instagram says, who are your style inspirations? So I already kind of answered that, but I will include a few pictures of people and characters and stuff that inspire me. Uh, this will kind of go off of that other question, but yes. Plunk182 asks, I dare you to yell at the top of your lungs. The first word that comes to your mind. Well, now that your username is Plunk, so I'm gonna have to go with um, my grandparents are gonna be like, what the fuck is she doing? <laughs> Plunk! That wasn't that loud, but I'm like embarrassed for some reason. Okay. Universe universe underscore wait, unit okay, unit underscore verse 25. Smash or pass, Will Toledo. I'm gonna have to, I have to look up pictures because I'm terrible with knowing who people are. But yes, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to go with Smash on that one. Uh, Parasini, what is your, Parasini asks, what is your favorite brand of drugstore makeup? I strictly use drugstore makeup. I have one high-end palette and I barely use it. Um, which is the White Peach Palette by Too Faced. It's a great palette. Uh, I don't understand spending that much money on like a singular makeup product. Like it seems kind of stupid to me. I love e.l.f. Uh, my favorite is Essence. I think it's a strictly Canadian makeup brand. I'm not sure. Uh, e.l.f. Essence. Basic drugstore stuff. Like I love drugstore makeup. Strictly drugstore makeup. Mandy underscore are you underscore wait oh. Mandy underscore are underscore you underscore serious acts oh I dare you to do a cartwheel in your backyard okay it just rained so I'm not gonna do that because I'm gonna get all soggy but <laughs> I will do it in my house if that makes you happy okay next question my sister Lacey Desiree on Instagram asks 
or tells me you should do a Voldemort makeup. I will do that if I get 500 subscribers. That is my 500 subscribers special. Everybody get me to 500 subs so I can do that. Tiny Bunny J asks, what's your favorite style of makeup? Like weird goopy makeup. <laughs> like if you follow me on Instagram, that makes sense because of all these looks that I've done that are like weird, like goopy and like like fake blood and stuff. Also, obviously trad goth. Um, yeah. <laughs> Underscore Clover asks, how long does it take you to do your makeup every day? It depends. Like this, what I did now took me an hour to do this, but it really depends on how much I mess up because I'm a like a big perfectionist. So if I like if I mess up, I have to get it exactly perfect. But for my like everyday makeup, I'd say like 15 to 45 minutes, like not that long, really. Usually more closer to 15 minutes. Underscore Clover asks, I dare you to do wavy brows. Future Emily is doing that now. There you go. Okay, so I think you mean like just wiggly. That's what I'm assuming. Um. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to do the same thing on the other eyebrow. Or maybe I will be able to. Why is this kind of a look though? Why do I kind of like this? <laughs> I like this actually. <laughs> Tiny Bunny J asks, what's your favorite makeup product? I don't know if it counts as makeup, but like my black mouth dye, it tastes terrible, but it makes looks look really cool. Also, obviously eyeliner. Eyeliner and my black mouth dye and white face paint. Underscore Clover asks, what is your favorite brand of eyeliner? I really like uh, Essence the like marker type and I do that to draw out the base of what I'm gonna do and then I use the elf liquid eyeliner to like fill it in and I always set my eyeliner with black eyeshadow because it will come off if I don't do that. Tiny Bunny J if you could give a newbie makeup advice what would it be? I love that question! Your makeup's gonna look terrible at first. Like absolutely horrendous. Like you're gonna be like, oh my God, I never wanna do makeup again. But like, this is what my makeup looked like when I first started doing it. Like it was terrible, but I was still actually really proud of myself. I was like, oh my God, like I actually can do makeup now. Like I'm doing makeup. Like the little victories mean a lot. Even if it's something stupid, like learning how to, well not stupid, like learning. <laughs> No! No, this is so sad. My pearls broke, but I fixed them, so everything is good. I just need to stop yanking on them. Um, yeah, some tips I would give a beginner is, basically, it'll look like crap at first, but everybody's will. Like, you'll get better with time. Practice is key. Practice whenever you can. If you're really trying to get good at makeup, yeah, put in the work. Oh, oh, okay. Two more questions. Okay. Cast dot underscore dot lang. <laughs> Draw poop sock on your eyebrows. <laughs> Future Emily. There you go. I really hope, I really hope this makes you happy. Okay, last question. Sue underscore posts underscore memes underscore dye your hair kind of a dark bluish green. I'm di I'm not going to do that right now. I just re-dyed my hair orange. However, that is the next color I am dyeing my hair. After I run it into my orange dye, I'm gonna fade this color and then dye it bluish, dark blue. Uh, I'm really excited for that, so yeah. 
this was just kind of a short little fun video that I really hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for 300 subscribers. Uh, consider following my other social media platforms. They're in the link tree in the description down below. If you have not subscribed, you can beat the fuck up. I will beat you up. Uh, if you have subscribed, if you, if you subscribe, you get a kiss on the head like this. Thank you for subscribing. <laughs> But thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Love you. Bye.